Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry, it's been a while. Uh, but today we're going to do a question about multiple point charges. So our question is, a point charge Q equals negative 200, sorry, negative 500 nanocoulombs, and two unknown point charges Q1 and Q2 are placed as shown in the figure. The electric field at the origin O due to the charges Q, Q1, Q2 is equal to zero. And it wants us to find the charge for Q1, or the approximate charge for Q1. So here we're going to use this formula. So our electric field, the vector of our electric field is equal to K um, Q, and then divided by our radius um, squared. So our K is our constant, its value is 8.99 times 10 newtons per meter squared on um, coulomb squared and then our radius is obviously just our length and our q is our charge which is what we're trying to find but for the point q1 so starting since we know the charge for the big q value we're going to find that um, value for the electric field vector so it's equal to k our constant times our 500 nano nano coulombs which would be equal to 500 times 10 to the power of negative 5 coulombs and then we'll divide it by the radius which here we have um 200 or sorry two meters so we'll just do um two squared and then when we put that through our calculator we'll get 1.12 times 10 to the power of three so this is our value of the field for Q, but we want to find our value for the field for Q1 in order to determine the charge for Q1. So Q1 is on the x-axis of this, so we'll want to find um, this value on the x-axis because it'll be equivalent to our value of Q1. So to do this, we're gonna want to do figure out which one is sin and which one is cos. So over here, this is going to be our um, x sin theta, and then over here will be our, oops, here, our x cos theta. So we want our x cos theta for Q1. So we'll write it out to be 1.12 times 10 power 3 um, times cos of 30, which is our angle here, our theta. So when we put this all together, we're going to get a value of 970. So since E Q1 is equal to 970, and it's also equal to K Q1 on R squared, we can transform this equation to make it, um, to make it solve for Q1. So if we move things around, We'll make, we're just going to move our, here, I'll show you what we're doing. So our squared is going to go um, up top here. Since we're going, like, the other side of the equal sign. And then our K is going to go down here, since it's going to be opposite, since it's on the other side of our equal sign. So when we write out this equation, we have that Q1 is equal to 970, um times our radius squared divided by k. And since we know our value of k and we know our radius is 1.1 shown inside of the diagram here for q1, we can solve this pretty easily now. So 970 times 2, oh sorry not 2, times 1.1 squared divided by k is equal to 1.3 times 10 negative 7 coulombs which is also equal to 130 nanocoulombs. So that would be like our approximate answer for Q1 based off of what we have here. Thank you for listening. Be sure to like, subscribe, put any questions in the comments, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you very much.